Hello and welcome to Adobe Photoshop CS2. Today we're going to take a look at how to save a selection outline and we're going to be doing that simply because it's an extremely important thing inside of Photoshop especially when you've taken 10-15 minutes to carefully select an outline um, there's nothing worse than pressing the wrong button and losing it or indeed um, closing the image and next time you're opening it up needing that selection outline again so we're going to take a look at what's involved with saving that outline now as you can see I've got an image open on the screen um, a Rubik's Cube that obviously isn't, isn't anywhere near completed um, it's got colors everywhere so we're going to select some of them colors and save the selection outline so the first thing we need to do is to select um, one of the colors and I'm going to do that today by grabbing the magic wand tool and I'm going to stay of a tolerance of about 32 that should be about right I'm going to leave contiguous unchecked so that we should be selecting all of one particular color and then I'm going to click on one of these yellow cubes and as you can see we've selected all five of the yellow cubes on screen okay so just imagine that I've done some work inside of the yellow squares and I hit control D to deselect and I carry on working with the rest of the image and a few minutes later I realized that I actually wanted to do something else inside of the yellow squares but I've deselected them well the way you can get them back is if you hit control shift D on the keyboard or go up to select and reselect then it will allow you to select or reselect I should say the last selection outline trouble is if we'd have created another selection outline since then or if we'd have closed the image and opened it again we wouldn't be able to reselect that region so in my opinion especially if we've done a lot of work to I mean in this case we haven't actually done much work to select those regions but if we'd have made a selection of a, um, a, a, a person or an animal or something that's very difficult to create a selection of then we would be kicking ourselves if we hadn't saved that selection and that's what we're going to do now so with those regions selected on the screen we're going to go up to select and save selection and what we're really going to do here is we're going to save that selection as a mask um, in a new channel so you can see some of the options that's come up here um, first of all what document do we want to save it in well we want to save it in our original document we want to create a new channel because we haven't created any channels before now rather than the red green and blue that already exist when we open the image up and the only option down here is to create a new channel which we're going to do we're going to name it yellow and click OK now if you go over to the channels palette down here at the bottom of the screen you can see that we've got a new channel um, at the bottom of the channels palette and it's called yellow so if we click on that you can see right away that we have indeed created a mask of the yellow squares within the Rubik's Cube now I'm going to hit control D to deselect them if I wanted to reselect that area so I could carry on working within them yellow cubes I could either go to select and load selection and then just make sure all the data is correct on the screen and click OK that will reselect them like that or I can actually go down to the channels palette I can hold down the control key and left click on the channel and that will reselect them like that and then I can go back into RGB I can go back into the layers palette I can do more work on what I've got as a selection on the screen and just to note that that information is now saved along with the file as long as you save the file as a PSD file you will retain that channel information so you'll save the selection outline
Now if I wanted to add to that selection, I'm going to hit Control D again to deselect the yellow squares. If I wanted to add to this mask that I've created here called yellow, I could simply grab my magic wand tool again, click on say the blue squares to select them, and you can see up here we haven't quite selected all of that blue square, so I'm going to hit Control D to deselect, and I'm going to raise the tolerance to 50, and I'm going to click again, and we're still not quite there, we've still got some areas that haven't been selected, so we're going to select a tolerance of say 65, that should do it, hit Control D to deselect what we've got already, and select again, and that's done it perfectly. Now if I wanted to save that in the same channel as the yellow cubes, because I wanted to work on them together, um, for instance, I would simply go to Select, Save Selection, and this time instead of creating a new channel, I could save it in a channel called Yellow. And I could either replace the channel, add to the channel, which is what we wanted to do, we could subtract from the channel, or intersect with the channel. In this case I want to add to the channel, so I'm going to click Add and press OK, and now you can see in the channel's palette we have a mask that's being created for the yellow and blue squares. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect them all, and now I'm going to press Control and click the yellow mask, and we've selected all of those squares. Click on the RGB channel, click on Layers, go back to the Layers palette, and you can see that our yellow and blue squares are selected, so we can now work on them, and we are safe in the knowledge that this selection outline has been saved permanently to the PSD file. Should we need to use it again, it will always be there. And that really is how to save a selection outline inside of Photoshop. Hope you've found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.